Hello everyone. Today we are coming with a really interesting topic, the concept of qualitative research design. We know that whenever uh, we are having more and more collection of the data, we are doing uh, that data collection in a sense that the data will play the role. Then we are working with the quantitative research. But in some cases that uh, we have to go in that study, that is in social sciences here I have mentioned like psychology, sociology, anthropology, they're always in the interest to study the human behavior, the social uh, world always comprising of, we know that uh, human being. So sometimes we have to understand their behavior. If sometimes we are having question that why it is happening, how it is happening, then of course we cannot say it only by giving the data only by saying as a yes or no. Therefore, I'm pretty much sure that first we have to understand the concept of qualitative research. It will be one series of lectures. I have received uh, more and more requests from your side. Of course, so we will show you how you can collect the qualitative data, how it is uh, descriptive in nature, how you can go for sampling, okay? How uh, qualitative sampling is different from the quantitative sampling. How we can analyze our qualitative data. And uh, of course, we can use the number of software here. And, uh, and Vivo may be the one of the best software you can use for your qualitative research design. Now, I wanted to uh, share with you some more information regarding the basic concept. Because today, in my presentation, I want to share with the basic concept of the qualitative research design. And uh, in that way, I think that we will move forward. We will show you in my next presentation how you can uh, collect the data, how qualitative research and quantitative research are different from one another. So if your research question involve, I'm sharing here, how much, how often some things happen, then uh, probably you know that, that what will be the matter. So here, whenever you are uh, going with the qualitative research design, you need to identify the research gap, not only based on the references, but also you have to see the real scenario. That is maybe the society. So it's always tempting to burden or depend understanding how things came to the way as you are experiencing it. This is very important. And therefore, I am sharing here, it is always uh, considered as a real life concept. That is, you see that you are having 1,000 people. You are uh, working with the quantitative research design. You are collecting the data. One and every is that you will have the idea that how you will apply the aesthetic stakes, how you will go for drawing the data. On the other hand, whenever you are having a qualitative research design, and uh, it will probably give you the opportunity to address and to reach also the people, the researcher himself or herself being the instrument here. This is a very interesting point. Whatever the method that you will use, I will also discuss the numbers of method regarding the qualitative research design. But fact is that whatever the method you will use, but very important point is that you will reach the individual. It may be say interview method. It may be the observation method. In interview, you are going with one person and it is open in there most of the time. You are not giving restriction to the person that he will say with some scale, say in quantitative research, you are having A, B, C, D, E, some options, but here it's descriptive in this. You are uh, going with the observational method, then you are, maybe you may be the part of that particular group. So that will be wonderful to discuss with you the, all of the different process, all of the data collection method, then thereafter the sampling and analysis. So uh, keeps going on with my channel research. And I will be back to 
you with more and more videos. I hope that today I'm sharing the concept of the qualitative research design, and it will help our young researcher for their research and innovation. If you are doing your PhD or you are preparing for your uh, national eligibility test, then definitely all these lectures will be helpful for you. Thank you, and please subscribe to my channel. I will be back to you with my more and more videos. Thank you, everyone.